Well, as we have been talking about for, uh, well, in the recent days and weeks, if you've been seeing the show, it's it's been all about COVID-19 and how this coronavirus is affecting our local community. So we appreciate you sticking around for this, and you're going to want to see this interview here. We're talking with Chef David Rodriguez from Melted Food Cart and also Gaylord's Catering, a recent takeover there. So appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. And we're, we're happy to bring that message to the people. And, you know, I guess let's just kind of get um, people who are unfamiliar with you and, you know, you've been in the community here and, hey, this is the, the, the live TV and you're doing it from home. This is what happens. So no problem at all here. Um, introduce us to you, you know, you're with Melted Food Cart is maybe where people know you from, but also the Isthmus. So kind of give us the scoop. Sure. I mean, I got started going on six years ago. Uh, uh, I purchased an existing business, a little grilled sandwich food cart. Um, and we, you know, over the years put my touch on it. Um, but that was kind of, kind of where I got started. And then we added in a taco truck and catering services. We left the square, moved into more catering and music festivals and, uh, grew fairly steadily over the years. I had a couple of rough years as well. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, you know, there were a couple of winters where we, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it until spring, but we made it through and we had our challenges and all the same challenges everyone has with staffing and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then an opportunity came up last year to, to purchase uh, Gaylord Catering Service. And, um, you know, I didn't know then how important that was going to be. Um, but at this point, if, if I hadn't, purchase Gaylord Catering Service, there we wouldn't exist anymore. Um, you know, everything that my Mad Sweet Pea, which is the legal kind of legal name of the business that encompasses melted gotcha. taco local and international catering, everything we did was um, at this point, we had a restaurant in the Dells and then we had a cafe in an office building off Rimrock. And then we were doing pop-ups, sometimes three or four pop-ups a day, five days a week. Um, in different office buildings, American Family, CUNA Mutual, um, Great Lakes Insurance, all over the place. So all of our revenue was in these office buildings. And I remember um, three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago, Wednesday, I had my meeting at Quartz and they, they asked me what, you know, what my plan was. And we talked about taking the salad bar down in the cafe and um, the things we we're going to do it to ensure we weren't spreading any viruses and and then uh by friday we knew they would be closing down by midweek the next week and on monday we got a note that they were sending most of their staff home to work we closed down on that monday by tuesday all of our office accounts were closed and the restaurant in the dells closed on tuesday as well it was just like everything shut down in five days uh, revenue tap just turned off um but gaylord catering service they feed everybody at MG&E. They feed um, through the county. They have a contract to feed homeless people, which I think we'll talk more about, but have some things that are going to weather the storm, which is, which is what's keeping us alive. Um, and then in addition to that, we've, we've got a, a, meal, a hot meal delivery service up and running as well. So people can order, can go to international-madison.com backslash meal delivery. And pick up or order hot meals that will, or excuse me, heat at home meals that will deliver and just leave on your step, no contact delivery. So. Yeah. I, I mean, a lot of businesses are doing that and that's super important. And, um, you know, we got less than a minute left, but I want you to, um, kind of explain that a little bit, you know, what that was important for Ga your, you know, your role with Gaylord to, um, you know, bring that food to people and to, and to save jobs and, um, you know, just really expand the, the good message. For sure. Uh, the, the one nice thing about the work we are doing with Gaylord is I've been able to keep the entire staff on. Some of them have some less, slightly less hours than they would normally get. Um, but everybody's at work. Um, and I know I've got, uh, you know, I've got people who wouldn't have made it a week. Um, I know that the unemployment process is going really slowly and that kind of thing. So, so that's really great for my people. Um, and then we're also on the front lines feeding, you know, at risk populations who are already struggle to find a meal. And so, you know, working with the county to make get meals to, to people who can't find them. 
uh, now that restaurants and all that kind of stuff where you might otherwise go to pick stuff up are no longer operating. Yeah, well, hey, I, we, we certainly appreciate, you know, not only your time, but what you've done for the community so far and, and everything that you're continuing to do. And um, we, we, we were happy to have you on. We wanted to make sure you were able to spread that word. So thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate the time. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. And we will have more Talk Wisconsin coming up after the break.